In this video, you will see how to use InterSystems Iris Cloud Integrated ML, a feature of InterSystems Iris Cloud SQL, to build a predictive model. The model in this example predicts the tip amount for a New York City taxi ride, but the steps for creating it are applicable to any integrated ML model. You will also find out how to view metrics for your model's performance and make predictions using the model. To begin, you should have a running instance of InterSystems Iris Cloud SQL with integrated ML enabled. In the instance, click Add and Manage Files in the left-hand menu, then log in using the password you created for your deployment. Here we will use an external transfer to get sample files from the external AWS S3 bucket provided with InterSystems Iris Cloud SQL instances. We'll select three files. A SQL file defining our yellow taxi cab dataset, a 15,000 row dataset for training, and a 15,000 row dataset for validating. Next, import the files into the InterSystems Iris Cloud SQL database by clicking Import Files in the left-hand menu. Select DDL or DML statement as the type of file to import, then proceed through the prompts to import the yellow tripdata.sql file that defines the two tables of taxi rides. Now that the tables are created, you can import the two CSV files that populate their data. Select CSV data as the file type and proceed through the steps twice, the first time loading the training data into the training table and the second time loading the validation data into the validation table. Each time, be sure to select Import File as Header Row in the CSV file details. Each time, you should see that over 15,000 rows have been updated. With data loaded into the system, you can create an integrated ML predictive model. Click Integrated ML Tools in the left-hand menu, then expand the Create section. In this case, we will enter Tip Prediction as the name of the model, and select the table with the training data for the model. Tip amount is the field we are creating predictions for. Once this is entered, you will be given a SQL statement for creating the model. Click Create Model in the user interface to run this statement as a SQL query and create the model. Next, you will train the model you created so it can learn the relationships between fields in the training data set and ultimately predict the tip amount field. Open the Train section and select your model from the dropdown. Depending on your naming approach, you can optionally provide a name for this particular version of the trained model. Notice that a SQL statement once again appears. Here, you can simply click Train Model to execute the training statement. A panel will appear on the right side of the screen showing the status of your training runs. Since model training is the most resource-intensive step in the machine learning workflow, this may take up to four or five minutes on a small instance. Once the status of your run changes to completed, you can hide the panel. Next, open the Validate section to retrieve some validation metrics on your newly trained model. Validation metrics allow you to see measures of your model's performance using metrics such as mean squared error or R squared. Refresh the dropdown list and select your trained model, then select the validation dataset. You have the option to provide a name for this validation run. Click Validate Model. After a few seconds, validation should be complete. Click Show Validation Metrics to see some basic metrics for your model. One metric is the R-squared value, which measures the percentage of the prediction's variance, accounted for by the variables in the model. In this case, the R-squared value is very close to 1, indicating a strong predictive model. You can also click the I icon in the chart column to see a visualization of your model's validation results. As you can see, the actual and predicted tip amounts appear in a nearly straight line of plot points, confirming that the model performed well. Now that you have created, trained, and validated your predictive model, it's time to run some prediction queries with it. Open the Predict section and select your model to use as the predictor. You can use the validation data set again for the input table. Since your model never saw this data during training, it is a good set of data to experiment with. In this example, select 100 as the number of rows to predict at the top of the data set. Click Generate SQL and you will see a SQL statement appear in the editor below. Since this statement returns a table of results, you will want to execute this query on the SQL Query Tools page. Click the button at the bottom to do that. When you arrive at the SQL Editor page, click to execute the pre-filled query. Scrolling through the results, you can look at the data in each row, focusing on the first two columns, the predicted tip amount and the actual tip amount. In this example, since the model is relatively strong, they align pretty well. Using the same steps, you can explore predictive modeling with other data samples and try more complex use cases in InterSystems Iris Cloud Integrated ML.